Hello, everyone. I'm Hannah Bloom, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And today I'm going to talk to you about a virtual reality teaching aid. I'm going to give you an overview of a virtual reality tour of a steel building. This has audio of the tour guide, pop-up images to show concepts, and periodic comprehension quiz for some versions. I'm going to go through the details and demonstration, how to access, and suggestions for implementation. Now, one version is the YouTube version. To access this, you need to subscribe to the AISC Teaching Aid Virtual Reality High Rise Building Tour. You need to ask AISC for this link. It's currently private. You need to log into the same YouTube account that you subscribe to the building tour with on your VR headset through the YouTube VR app. You can view this as a playlist or select individual scenes to play up to 11 scenes. I'm now going to show you a demo where someone is using a VR headset, specifically the Quest, and you are going to see what they see. Take another look at the 50-second floor framing above you. Do you see the rectangular shaped openings in the beams? These are web openings. You will see these web openings throughout this floor. Web openings are often made to accommodate mechanical ductwork or plumbing pipes. Working with other trades, structural engineers coordinate the locations of these openings in optimal locations along the beam span. Generally, areas of low shear are preferred because a large section of the web is being removed. Throughout the design process, coordination with the architect and other trades is important for a successful project. In high-rises, the teams include experts in mechanical, electrical, plumbing systems, and vertical transportation, aka elevators. On the south side of the building, a staircase connects the 51st floor to the 50th floor below us and to the 52nd floor above us. These stairs continue all the way down to the ground level for egress. Here, the steel frame stair uses steel drop-in stairs. Stringers serve as the main load carrying members and the stringers are channel shapes. The channels span from supports, which can be floor framing members, concrete ends of the shear wheel, or steel rod hangers. Stairs are often delegated design. I hope you like that excerpt of the video. Please note this tour is the same for all versions. I just showed you the version that was from YouTube. Another version is through the Oculus Go store. For this, you download from the Oculus store and the store can be accessed through the Oculus app from a phone or tablet. Please note this is only for the Oculus Go headset. After the tour, you can move around freely to explore your own time without replaying the explanations. I'm now going to show you a demo of someone using a Go and moving around the building after the tour is finished. So moving around on their own just to review some of the scenes. Please note you are seeing what the user sees, but this is streaming to a phone and the phone screen is being recorded. This is the only way to show videos on the go. Here we are moving around the building to locations where the camera was placed. So you can see now we do not have to listen to any explanations. We can just move around freely on our own after the tour is completed. Another version is the web version. This can be found online. This has some quiz questions after certain scenes. As you can see here, we have question one, question two, and question three. These are comprehensive questions to help the students assess if they have understood the explanations. You can only view this on a flat screen. It's not immersive like in the VR headsets. You can access this from a VR headset through the web browser, but you are still gonna see it on a flat screen. To move around, when you're in the scene, you would click and drag with your mouse. 
feel free to try this out on your own time. If you see the cards here, the blue, you click on that to access the recording for that scene and the white to access the scene only. Another version in development is for the Oculus Quest. There's a slight software issue which we are trying to work out. When this is finished, we will have quiz questions in this app, and this will run only on the Quest headset. Now you might be wondering, how do we implement this? If you're planning on getting a VR headset, I recommend the Oculus Quest 2. Each one's about $300. It's the cheapest you can get and pretty good quality. You also need a tablet to manage the suite. Many universities have a technology group to manage the equipment. I recommend you use this route. It will save you a lot of time. If you have a Quest, the first priority would be to use the Quest app that we are planning on releasing after we work out the software glitch. This will have the best features for you to use. If not, you can use the YouTube version. Note the YouTube version does not have the quizzes embedded. The Oculus Go is no longer sold. If you have a Go, I recommend you use the version from the Oculus Store that will give you the best performance. If you have another VR headset, not listed above, use the YouTube version. If you don't have a VR headset and don't plan on getting any, use the web version. So how can we implement this? AISC will explain how to access the VR files, either the web or YouTube platforms or through the Oculus Store. We also have a quiz for students to take after the tour. My research group is currently using this quiz for an engineering educational study. So after we have finished with our study, we will gladly share the quiz and the solutions for you to use in your own class. I want to give a special thanks to the VR building tour team, that especially to PhD student Ed Sipple, who has helped a lot with this development, and also to thank the AISC education group.